Today's gonna be a good day, y'all. Come join us. Are you ready for an adventure? Bubba, are you ready to go on an adventure? Oh, y'all puppy dogs now? What have you taught them? Where'd your mom and him go? Where is your mother, sis? All right, y'all, we made it. We are here at Dollywood. It's the kids' first time, and it's packed. I looked online, and it said this was one of the slower times of the early season. Yeah, it's spring break. It's not, not at all. Is that for Bubba? Double Trouble is back together. Hey, are you ready to go have a good time? Y'all, it is spring break. We did not realize that. It is what it is. But anyhow, we are here finally. We've been like three hours trying to get in the park. But we're here, we're in. I just peed, so all is right with the world. We're gonna find us something to drink because it is 85. We have 85. You like it? <laughs> she wants a sucker. How did it become the first stop of the sucker? <laughs> no, no. No. They have to be round. You want this? We gotta pay for it. Gotta give them money. Go ahead. Oh, you're fine. No, go ahead. I ain't done done yet. Okay. Mommy's gonna pay for it. It's all right with the world now. What you got? Big suckers? Yummy. We finally made it up to the top of the park, you guys, where the kids' stuff is. It is hot today. The kids are, they're wanting ice cream and the line is like an hour wait. So we're trying to find something else to do. Okay. Hi, Moo Moo. Hey. Bubba. Hey. Hi. Are you? Are just so it, the park is at capacity today. It's spring break. Well, they added an extra hour on to the day, too. Yeah, they added an extra hour tonight, like closing time. I don't know what time it is, but they put an extra hour onto it. But the, it's just we had to park at the very last parking lot. Yeah, it took us almost three hours to get parked and wait for the what is it called shuttle bus and get even to the park. So it eat up a lot of our time. We both did not know it was spring break. We got to ride the frogs. It was like a 10 second ride and they were mortified that they waited that long and got to ride for 10 seconds. So 
we are we're changing plans here and uh, going to try to find something else to do. Chloe has still hollering ice cream, but you guys, it's like an hour and a half wait right now for ice cream. She don't realize that. So we're going to get something. Yeah, we're going to get some food. She don't understand like why it's taking so long to do everything. I don't know what we might do. We were actually talking about heading out of here because we got season passes. You know, we can come back all year. We're coming back in October for to see the Great Pumpkins and Christmas to do the lights with the kids. Now, me and Sean, y'all remember, we came last year in October and there was hardly anybody here. So that's really the time to come. Y'all, I'm craving Dippin' Dots so bad. And the two Dippin' Dots we went by is broke down. That's my favorite ice cream on earth. Well, we have worked our way downtown to Pigeon Forge. We're going by the old mill. I'm not, some of y'all that, guys, you just have to overlook me. My mouth is so dry. You couldn't even get in line to get a drink. I mean, it was like an hour and a half wait. I've never seen it that bad. It was, everybody on the shuttle bus back to their cars was like, we got to ride one ride. So it was just, it, it was at capacity today. It was unreal. If I'm talking funny, that's why, because I'm dying for something to drink. That's where we're going right now, to get food and something to drink and get these kids ice cream if they want it. That's all I've heard, ice cream, ice cream, but we just couldn't get to it. He's a fading too. Oh, no. We'll have to, if they fall asleep, we'll just sit in the car for about 20 minutes and let them get a nap, much needed nap in. It is, as y'all can see, and what was it back home yesterday? It was about 50, so we 35 degrees up, you know. But right here's the old mill. I don't know if y'all can see it. That restaurant is delicious, delicious. It's so good. But now that the kids are asleep, well, Chloe, we might as well keep cruising. We're gonna try to find something to do. Maybe the kids can do I wanna try too. to get them on some go-karts. I think that's what the plan. Colton might be able to. I don't see Chloe being able well, to do got that. Two seaters. Everything down here has got an inch limit, and Chloe's like this much too short. <laughs> the thing keeps just barely swinging over her poor Listen, little head. What I'll do is I'll put some napkins in her shoes. Colton. Make her a little taller. He's singing himself to sleep. All right, we're gonna find some food. We decided on the bullfish grill, you guys. We sat in the car for about 20 minutes and let the kids nap. Get them, they both went out. So we was like, yeah, we're gonna let them get a nap in. But I'm sure this is surf and turf. I don't think we've ever been here, so we're about to find out. She's singing five little babies jumping on the bed. I got crab cakes and the kids got fish and chips and Sean got steak per usual. We were sitting here discussing maybe going and riding some go-karts, maybe the Ferris wheel. Just depends on how long the lines are. We are going to find something to do. We just aren't 100% on what yet. But right now, I'm so thirsty. She's killed this iced tea. I've had one drink. Memo. That keeps him occupied, so Mama does not mind. I noticed when we got the kids out of the car, we're all sunburnt. So we're gonna have a little tan here in a couple days. That's nice. Sean tans easy. Me and the kids, we burn easy. Yum. Salad. Oh, you don't have any kids just hit the board and the balls. Oh, it ain't got no balls. What is your problem? Look what I'm looking at. This is his what view, guys. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. He went over and punched the words. He's going to smoke to me. He's going to shove his head up. Sean was sitting there staring out the window with a weird... I was like, what is it? And he's like, well, my view, I'm looking at a bull's butt. <laughs> you guys, look at my crab cakes. Ooh, that sauce already took a little. Mm, it's delicious. Cheesy grits, broccoli, fish and chips for the kids. That's steak. Boy, I can tell you the moods have totally changed since everybody got food in their stomachs and drinks. What? 
Hey, give me some monies. Give me some monies. Give me some candy monies. Bubba, give your mama some candy monies. No. <laughs> you would think, oh gosh, you are just like your daddy. Oh, I don't get no candy monies now. Everybody is peachy now. Girl, I don't trust you, girl. Give me that money. Give me that money. I'll take Bubba's money. <laughs> She's something else. You need to go there and eat one time. Sissy, give me some monies. Hey, give me some monies. Give me some bubblegum monies. I don't want a book. I want bubblegum monies. No, I no money. No monies. Gonna give me some that monies. Bubby money. I ain't giving bubbies. She's trying, yeah, she's trying to get me to get Colton's money. But anyhow, everybody's in a much better mood now. I can talk properly because my mouth is not like paste. What about Chloe drinking almost two cups of my tea? Chloe drank all of Sean's first cup of sweet tea. I took a bottle of water in with us and a Minute Maid kiwi, um, strawberry kiwi. They were hot, you know. It took us three hours just to get oh, in Dollywood, man. get parked and get shuttled to the back and they were hot mm -hmm. by then. So neither one of the kids was like, yuck, yuck. They didn't want them because they were warm. I did managed to grab a Sprite out of the candy shop in there and we all chugged that but that's all we had the entire day in there everybody was just the lines were unreal but anyhow when I was giving the waiter his tip Chloe seen that money she said I need candy money because when we go to the store I always give them a couple dollars to pay for their like bubble gum or candy or whatever they get so she's gripped onto that and now she's ready to get some candy somewhere so what? Huh? What are we doing? I was gonna go to that track and see what how many people there. Are. We're getting smarter as we go, y'all, and we're gonna be checking lines from eyesight. What? Hey, Mama. Girl, if I reach back there to get that money, this time better give it to me. Okay. okay. I don't want your book. I need my candy money. We're just wondering if we could get the kids on that. Smoky Mountain Snow Park. There's a restaurant right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. The local goat hey, mommy. says New American Restaurant. I'm sure that has got some juicy steak in it. But now Sean's steak was delicious. We delicious. got at the bullfish. It was great. Mm -hmm. But I would like try that restaurant when like, we come down here. Y'all, I am a roadhouse connoisseur. I love We the both roadhouse. are. That steak was better than the roadhouse. I hate to say it, but it is what it is. I didn't believe him, so I made him give me a bite. It was delicious. It was in some kind of sauce with scallions and everything underneath. Oh. And it was just on the bottom. They laid the steak on top of the sauce. Oh my God, it was so good. And my crab cakes was delicious too, honey. Let me just tell you, my grits, I had to get me some cheesy grits. Had to. I've not had any really good cheesy grits since we've been in Florida, but man, as soon as I seen them on the menu, I was like, give me some of those. Hopefully, the lady we met from Florida today sees, sees this video. She was so nice. But it was nice to meet you. We tried. The arcade is packed out the door. And you have to be 10 years old, period. No ifs, ands, or buts to ride the go-karts, which I understand. The lowest you can be is 54 inches tall. So now we're stunk. I have to say, I think this is the first time we've been defeated. Hey! Coming to uh, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. Mm, maybe. It's just so packed right now. You can't. Not with two littles. Now, if it was just me and Sean like it was last year, we could easily, you know, stand in lines and chill to get. But the kids, they just, they don't get it. Like, why are we standing here? Y'all know how it is with children. She's still stuck on her cane. She's still teasing me over that dollar. Like 30 minutes later. So, we got a little ways to go. We're gonna keep looking and pulling over and asking if there's anything for the little itty bitties to do. We're almost out though. We got when we pulled the end of that magical castle looking place to ask if they could do it. And uh, we pulled back out to the road coat and said, no nasty, pointing at the traffic. <laughs> Stop it. Pull 
I kid you not. <laughs> we we seen this. It's wildflowers, donuts, and stuff. We pulled over and was like, yes, yeah, so we'll go in here. They got snow cones, homemade donuts, ice cream. They're only open Thursday through Saturday. <laughs> I'm going back into Pigeon Forge to get the kids some candy. <laughs> I said, this trip's defeated us, you all. I am. I'm going back to get them some candy. Yeah, I'll get it to my... my babies want some candy. I'm taking them back to get some candy. I guess we're going to get candy. Sean's ma mom requested a, a pecan log. She always does pecan roll. And we, we forgot her pecan roll too. So We're going to go get candy, baby. Yes, we're going to the candy store. We told her it was there because we didn't know that it was closed. We ain't taking a loss yet. Now, if we go to the other candy store and it's closed, we taking a loss on this trip. Listen, if I go to another candy store and it's closed, somebody in it. Pigeon Forge is gonna catch an earful because I'm gonna explode right in the middle of it all. Because I gotta go right back into this rush hour traffic right now. So, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. We'll see where mom and dad's at right now, y'all. Listen, I lived in Florida for seven years. Y'all know that I've said it. Eight, including the year me and Sean was down there. I've learned to watch my seasons <laughs> with amusement park areas and amusement parks because you will take loss. You'll spend all day to ride two rides and pay twenty dollars a drink and you know neither one of us I knew it was spring break because my niece had me order her a bathing suit cover. Nobody told me. But I didn't know it was this week's. So I knew it was like right around the corner but I did not know it was this week. So that was it was bad planning on our it's our fault. It was our fault. We had bullfish and got to ride the frogs. She's pissed. We taking a loss on this one, ain't we? <laughs> it's a good thing we ain't too far from Tennessee. Y'all, we finally found one. And it only took us 35 minutes. <laughs> and we only went two miles. <sighs> and she fell asleep. Bubba, you ready to go get some candy? Daddy. Daddy. Look at them. Oh, look, 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 Want some gummies? Look, Bubba. Oh my God, a monkey. Daddy. Yeah, that's candy. Daddy. Look, Bubba, look here. Oh, Lord have mercy. I know. Holly girl. Yeah, look at these big apples. Yum. Yum. Big apples. Yeah. You want to get Cece one too? Get Cece a sucker too. That's green. Get two. One for Cece and one. No, you got to pay for it. Oh. Oh, wait. Here. Y'all, Lord have mercy. Oh. Lord have mercy, right. <laughs> Sean said, Lord have mercy on the price, but oh. let Mama indulge and see how it tastes. I want cake. I want to taste it. I want cake. Wagon cake. Truffle. I want cake. You want cake? So, even though all the craziness happened, did you have fun at Dollywood? Hey. Did you have a good time at Dollywood? No. No. <laughs> no. You didn't have a good time either? No. I didn't. What about the candy? Was the candy good? I want candy. You always want candy. 
So if you're a person that likes punishment, take a couple toddlers to Dollywood on spring break. You'll get all the punishment you need. While they're having sales on everything. With all jokes aside, we really did have a good time. We got to spend the day together. We got to eat some good food. Got the kids some candy. Yeah, they only got to one ride, one ride, but you know, it is what it is. We got season passes. Got you some orange. Sit, sit in your chair. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. See, she's still getting punished over there. Really, guys, you gotta make the best of every situation you're in, because they're not all gonna be sugar and rainbows. You're gonna end up in some bad situations in life. And your reaction is what makes the situation. If you have a decent reaction, then the situation is going to be, even though it's bad, it's not going to be unbearable. So just when life comes at you, things happen that's out of your control, just hold your cool, enjoy what you can out of the situation, and don't let it get the best of you. Um, I think we could take our own advice sometimes. Cause oh, I know. We were pretty defeated that day. Don't get me wrong, though. Every time we have been down there, it's been easy peasy. We just, it was our fault for not checking calendars. And you have to check those things when you go to amusement parks. You have to. Like, it's a must. You have to. Which I got on Crowd Tracker, and I guess they didn't even realize that it was going to be spring break there and they was running this big sale they was just going on you know the analytics of prior years it was flooded but like i said we had a good time the kids went for the first time what i plan on doing now is so megan can have a day with chloe me and colton may load up and go and then one day me and chloe may load up and go we've got the season passes they get in for free so all I have to do is just go buy one of those, maybe the fast pass if it's a little crowded, and we'll jump right on everything. I've just seen the magic in their eyes when they rode that frog. They loved it, they had a blast, and I could just imagine them being able to ride the rest of it and enjoy the day. It's neither here nor there. We'll back up, we'll try again, and see what happens. Next time. <laughs> yeah. It's almost race day. I don't know if we're gonna be able to have practice today because it is pouring the rain. Good old rainforest we live in. Seems to do that a lot. Like, I'm at the point, if we get another flood like last year, I'm going to pack up and move. But now, uh, next week, we're supposed to have seven days of sunshine. If we do, how rare is that? But if we do, my God, the ground might actually have a chance to dry up. We've not had seven days of straight sunshine in about three years. It feels like that. I mean, so I, I, listen, I don't trust the weather. I think they're lying to us, but is what it is we'll find out but guys, weather's definitely it's different yeah it's different but guys we love y'all and until the next time stay positive stay country and stay true to your roots check dates before you go to amusement parks people unless you take it from us unless you just like abuse yeah <laughs> <laughs>